Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is going to be a general love reading for um, Capricorn singles. So if you're a Capricorn and you're single, um, just keep in mind this message. Well, this reading is very general. It's not going to resonate with everyone watching. So just keep that in mind while viewing the video. So before we get into the reading, I'm going to say a prayer for you Capricorn singles. So here we go. Dear God, we ask that you bring a stillness in our singleness. We only receive what you have for us and pray against the plans of the enemy to distract and destroy us. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn singles. I'm going to pull from the energy oracle card deck first just to see what the current energy is surrounding you Capricorn singles. What is the energy surrounding Capricorn singles? see what this is oh look um pisces had this same card and the hostilities was at the bottom of the deck you guys could be dealing with the pisces because um the devil card came up in pisces reading so you may want to watch that you could have pisces in your chart but we got dwarfs of spirit so this is like spiritual awakenings new beginnings but there's some type of conflict going on. Let's pull from the soul's journey lesson cards real quick for you. Give me one for Capricorn. Capricorn singles. Give me one for Capricorn singles. Okay, that was too many. Let's see what's going on. Give me one for Capricorn singles. You know what? We're not taking that. Give me one for Capricorn singles. Okay. So we got relationships at the bottom of the deck. So it says, I am tr attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I feel like this came out in your general reading for March. And then we have imagination. Um, it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So let's see what's going on here. I'm going to pull. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. What messages do you have for Capricorn singles? What messages do you have for Capricorn singles? Past life relationship. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Hmm. I feel like you guys are about to attract a past life relationship somehow. Like, um, you probably went through a spiritual awakening and it's like now it's time for this past life relationship to happen. Give me one more for Capricorn singles. Give me one more for Capricorn singles. Okay, so we have flirt and a new love. This new love could definitely be a past life relationship, somebody that you have known before in the past. Now, this could be like a past life relationship is just like this could be somebody that you knew. Like somebody you you know, but you don't know, you know. <laughs> It's hard for me to explain it, but yeah, a past life relationship, it's could this could be like a new love for you. A new love in this current like lifetime. And we got flirt. Um, exchange your lighthearted energy to others. So let's take that one. New love is at the bottom of the deck. So that's the underlying energy for you guys. Um trying to figure out what's going on here. So let's see what Dorsa Spirit is. I feel like it's going to have something to do about Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart or maybe you're dating a Pisces. You could have a past life relationship with a Pisces. Tell me about Dorsa Spirit for Capricorn. So we got 
the six of wands that came out. So I feel like this is, um, see, this could be a new beginning for you guys, or, um, it's like someone, um, somebody who had a spiritual awakening, but I feel like this could be like a new beginning for you guys. You guys are standing out the six of wands. And I feel like this is like more so like self-worth too, with the six of wands, like you celebrating yourself during your singleness. And then kind of like spoiling yourself too with the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Like treating yourself. You could be doing like a little bit of online dating. Tell me about Dorset Spirits. Oh yeah, somebody from the past is coming back. We got the Judgment card that came out. So I feel like this is definitely like love news coming in for someone, a new beginning. I feel like this could be like a new beginning in love for someone, um, for Capricorn single. Someone's coming towards you guys, or you're going towards someone. Judgment, a new beginning. And then we got Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So either you're, I feel like somebody is spying or keeping up with someone. Somebody from the past. Tell me about imagination. So we have the King of Pentacles that came out. So I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. Whether you're male or female, the King of Pentacles, or you could be done with another earth sign. But I feel like you guys are with this um, imagination card. With this imagination card, I feel like you guys are keeping your options open. It's like someone... Um, with this imagination card, it's like, you don't, you're not, um, like your mindset isn't closed. Because with this imagination card, I was trying to figure out what was going on with it. But it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I feel like you guys are having an open mind about your love life. Give me one more for imagination for Capricorn singles. Yes, we got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why the Queen of Cups always comes out in your love readings. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pis Pisces, or um, <clears throat> a Scorpio, but the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, you could have definitely like manifested. You could have manifested. Um, a new beginning in love or you are manifesting a new beginning in love but i feel like the way i'm seeing it because um this king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is falling underneath the imagination card and i'm just thinking about someone's mind like someone not really being in a box like you're actually open to what happens in your love life it's like someone's keeping their options open too like, you're not just um, putting yourself in a box when it comes towards your love life. And I feel like that's going to be able to, um, that's going to help you to receive a new love because you're being open. Tell me about flirt. So we got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could be done with a water sign. But I feel like for some of you guys, you are grounded when it comes towards your emotions. Um, since this is for Capricorn singles, we got the Eight of Pentacles that came in. For some of you guys, you may meet someone like at work. Because we got the, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. If not, 
if you don't meet someone, somebody at work with this Eight of Pentacles, that's how I'm seeing it. I feel like you guys need to work on extending your lighthearted energy to others. Like, work on that. Keep an open mind about your um your love life. Give me one more for flirt. Give me one more for flirt for Capricorn. Singles. Give me one more for flirt for Capricorn singles. See, the devil card came out. So this is your energy, Capricorn. So I feel like maybe you guys need to work. So, okay. So going back to this imagination, for some of you guys, you do like, so for some of you guys, you do have an open mind. You're not putting yourself in a box when it comes towards your love life. For some of you guys, you need to keep an open mind so that you can receive a new beginning in love. Keep an open mind. Um, try to work on these self-limiting beliefs that you tell yourself. Try to work on that. Um, possibly like extend your lighthearted energy to others with this flirt. It's like, maybe you want to do some like online dating or something. Um, let's see what judgment is about. What's judgment? And, um, going back to this relationships card, it's at the bottom of the, of the deck and it says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So this is all about attraction. You attracting relationships. Get rid of those like self-limiting beliefs that you tell yourself. Keep an open mind so that you can so that you can be on the receiving end for this new beginning in love. What's judgment? you guys are going to get some sort of communication that comes in or you're going to be communicating to someone this is actually going back to your general reading so some of you guys could definitely be interested in a cancer we got the chariot card and i've seen the king uh, the king of cups and the queen of cups but i feel like this is like a message coming in for someone it's like communication <coughs> what's the king of pentacles See, we got the, um, I feel like this is about someone's emotions because I don't see any cups up here. But I seen the, the king of cups and the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like you guys are, um, this is like an illusion. But this moon card, and this is like cancer energy too, so. But I don't see any cups. But the page of cups is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you're not expressing your emotions to someone. Because it seems like somebody wants to communicate to someone or you want to communicate to someone um, from the past, possibly. But it's like, get rid of those, get rid of the illusion, those like self-limiting beliefs. Try to um, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Cause I see a new beginning for you guys, but it's like no cups up here. So it's like no emotions. It's all like pinnacles and wands. What's the ace of pentacles? Yeah. So we got the chariot card that came out. So some of you guys could be done with a cancer. So I thought you could be trying to like manifest something with a cancer. I feel like for some of you guys, you want a new beginning with someone. Could be another earth sign, a fire sign or a cancer. 
It could be a Pisces too. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, see, I feel like you guys are, somebody's watching somebody. We got the Page of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. But we got the um the Eight of Swords that came out. So some of you guys need to get out of your head. It's like you got this self-limiting belief about, I feel like somebody could have possibly put yourself in a box. Um, And for some of you guys, it's like maybe you're not seeing your worth. But work on extending your lighthearted energy possibly towards this person or just when it comes towards like dating. What's the devil? What's the devil? So we have a nine of pentacles. So I feel like, okay, so this is definitely for single Capricorns. <laughs> But I feel like you guys have like this um, self-limiting belief about yourself. Are you putting yourself in a box? That could be for some people. Some people aren't. Maybe you are open um, for like a new beginning with someone. Maybe you want to move forward with someone. This could definitely be a past life relationship. But I do see new love happening for you guys. But it's just like keep that open mindset. Stop um, create, creating an illusion. Because I feel like that's causing hostilities. It's causing conflict, but I feel like this is like a um, mental conflict for you guys, especially, especially with the Eight of Swords, because it's like she can easily get herself out of this situation if she just changes her mindset. It's not as bad as it seems. But um, I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.